In this video, we're going to sketch the graph of the equation y equals 1 minus the absolute value of x. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So in order to graph this equation, let's start by graphing the absolute value of x. So if you had the graph of, say, y sub 1 equal to the absolute value of x, it's basically going to look like a v. So here's the y-axis. And here is the x-axis. And it's going to look something like this. So basically that's the graph of the absolute value of x. So if you had a negative in front of the absolute value of x, so if instead you had, say, y sub 2 equals minus absolute value of x, this would be an upside down v. So here's the y-axis. And here's the x-axis. And so this is an upside down v. And then if you have a 1 in front of it like this, you're adding 1 to it, it means you go up by 1. So basically we're going to take this upside down v and go up by 1. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. And this is going to be the graph of our actual function, or given in the problem, y equals 1 minus the absolute value of x. And so we're taking this graph and we're going up by 1. So this point here at the origin is going to go up here, and the graph is going to cross like this and like this. So what are these points? You can find them algebraically, or you can use knowledge of the absolute value. This is going to be 1, and this is going to be negative 1. And it's pretty easy to tell that because right here, if you go back to the absolute value of x, this is 1, 1. This is negative 1, 1. And it's always 1 right and 1 up, 1 left and 1 up. Same thing here. Um, this is negative 1, and this is negative 1. So it's 1 left and 1 down, 1 right and 1 down. So when you go up, to this point here, it's one right and one down to get to that point. If you're not convinced, you can always find the x-intercepts. You can do that by taking your equation and setting it equal to zero. So y equals one minus the absolute value of x, and set it equal to zero. Solve for this, we could subtract one from both sides, minus one, minus one. It gives us minus the absolute value of x is equal to minus one. And we can divide by minus 1. We end up with the absolute value of x equal to 1. That means that x is equal to plus or minus 1. Whenever you have the absolute value of x equal to a number, you drop the absolute value and you put a plus or minus. These would be the x-intercepts. The y-intercept would be this point here, which is 0, 1. That would be the y-intercept. If you prefer, you can write the x-intercepts as ordered pairs. You could write them as follows, plus or minus 1, comma 0. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video. If you feel you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.